doing something a little different with lamb tonight. Mm, yeah. Well, they're flipped. Diced up onion, uh, about a quarter, I guess, of a good size onion. Probably somewhere between a quarter cup and a half cup of diced onion. Gonna add some mushrooms, we'll saute them up. And the lamb will finish cooking in the oven. Gonna add a little basil, some garlic, a little bit of rosemary. Red pepper. And the recipe calls for white wine, and we don't have any, so I'm going to add some red wine because we're going to be adding some tomato sauce and some beef broth as well. So the red wine will go well. And we're going to add the lamb back in to this and let that cook a little bit longer. tasting a little bland, so I added a little bit more garlic, some a little more basil, a little bit of oregano, and a little bit of parsley. We'll see if that'll flavor it up a bit more here. We'll let it cook a few minutes. I'll taste it. If it's good to go, we'll put it in the oven and let it bake for an hour. Okay, we've simmered it for a while. I put it into a baking dish. We're going to cover it with some foil and we're going to bake it for an hour. Then we'll pull the meat off the bones and serve the sauce over pasta. Well, it's baked for an hour. We've pulled the meat off the bones and added it back to the sauce. And we're just waiting for the pasta to finish cooking. It'll be done. It's lamb ragu with lamb ragu with pasta. All that's left is a little Great farm. And there's lamb ragu. So this is yeah. 